Rated T for Teen. Hi, and welcome to Celebrity Gamer. I'm Christopher Sabat. I'm a celebrity, obviously. Yes. Sean's here with me, Sean Schimmel. We both happen to do voices on a show called Dragon Ball Z. I played Vegeta, Piccolo, and others. Sean is the voice of King Kai, Goku, that's, and others that's as well. Lots of others. Two or three. Just so happens we're going to be talking today about uh, Atari's newest cool game called Super DBZ. We're going to be discussing some of the gameplay features. We're going to be playing through a little bit of the game. Yeah. And a real cool thing we're going to be doing is that we're going to be... Uh, answering some of your questions uh, that you've sent in to us about Super DBZ. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Oh, because, I am too. Because we're going to answer real questions from real fans, you know, yeah. versus an interview, which is great, but, you know, the real questions, I think the hardcore gamers really, they, they're the people we need to be answering questions And for. you have the first question handy, don't you? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, Russell Whitaker from Orlando, Florida, wants to know, what are some of the features that make Super Dragon Ball Z unique in Dragon Ball Z games. Super DBZ is, uh, is really cool. And when you compare it to some of the other Dragon Ball Z titles you may be familiar with, uh, Budokai 1, 2, 3. I'm familiar with all of them. The Tenkaichi games, Shin Budokai. It's, you're immediately going to notice uh, a difference in the way the game looks. It has a, where the other games really look more like, um, like the anime, mm -hmm. this would look more like the manga. It's, oh. It has a very cool cell shaded, almost crazy 2D meets 3D. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. And I wasn't quite it. sure at first, and then I realized, oh, this is more like the manga. Yeah, it's very, very cool. It's even got the little pow and the zam and like boof and that made the no sense. The little of course. that yeah, appears in the manga in clouds. is in the game. Yeah. yeah, that appear only in our minds when we actually do stuff like that. That's true. Uh, let's just start playing some of this game. Yeah, let's <clears throat> check it out. I'm going to pick Goku, of course. And I'll pick Vegeta. I mean, just for fun. What I really like about it is I'm an, I'm an old school gamer. So, like, I'm, I'm a big Virtua Fighter and Tekken fan. And this plays a lot like those style games. Whereas in Tenkaichi, it's, you know, you're fighting and fighting. It's a true 3D world. This is a, like a real true old school fighter. Well, this a, la, a la Street Fighter, a la... Actually, this game was designed by the people who designed Street Fighter 2. I'm so not, you're going to notice some similarities. I, yeah, well, I'm gameplay. very happy about that. It's a very... You were saying earlier that it's a very deliberate kind of gameplay. Yeah, play. there's very specific punches. It's very specific moves, which reminds me of Tekken and, and Street Fighter. Uh, so if you're, if you're an experienced fighter, some of the moves translate, which I think is cool, because then I don't have to learn stuff. Something you may not know <laughs> is that when we were, again. we were working on the recordings for this game... Yeah? Uh, I remember that. There are a lot of original attacks in the game that uh, they created and were approved by uh, Akira Toriyama. Oh, really? That were, are I didn't actually know that. based around... We had to change some of the names because they didn't you know, entirely make sense in English, but... Some of the names were actually named after the uh, the original Street Fighter moves. They're really? Like a, almost a play. Like Tatsumaki Senpokyaku, which is the spinning whirlwind kick. Oh, yeah, I didn't Tatsumaki know. Tatsumaki Senpokyaku! I didn't, I didn't know sure what that you was can. when I saw it on the list. Then when he goes, he goes, sure you can! <laughs> sure you can! The experience really is kind of fun. It kind of takes you back to old school fighters. Yeah, it's just totally, and it's risk. -wise. What I like is we were playing the other level, and... Uh, like uh, you could break stuff. Like I was, I was, I was knocking over pillars in the. I forget it was pillars or it was trees. There were trees I was knocking over, and they were just you were just breaking things. Yeah, there's like nothing a, like knocking over a tree. Yeah, it's very exciting. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.